Okay, so let's start with the left hand, which is going to be playing a B with the pinky, or finger five, followed by an E with finger three, a G with finger one, and F sharp with finger two. Okay, so it's just going to keep repeating that. B, E, G, F sharp, B, E, G, F sharp, B, E, G, F sharp. Five, three, one, two. Five, three, one, two. Okay, so just practice that a few times. In the right hand, we're going to start with finger one on the D, finger two on the E, to finger five on the B. Okay, again, one on the D, two on the E, five on the B. And that B will play twice. And then we'll come down A, G. D, E, B, B, A, G. And then I'm going to use the same finger, the third finger on the F sharp to the E. So we have And then we're going to do a D scale on the way up. D E F sharp. Then I'm going to cross under with my first finger to hit the G, A, B. Putting both hands together is a little tricky. The D is going to start playing right as soon as the left hand starts with the B. And then the E's play together. The left hand goes to a G while the right hand plays the B. And then the left hand moves down to the F sharp while the right hand plays another B. So we have... And remember, the left hand starts over now. So the left hand plays a B while the right hand plays that A. And then the left hand plays the E while the right hand plays the G. And then the left hand plays a G while the right hand moves to the F sharp. And then the left hand goes to the F sharp while the right hand goes to an E. One more time. Now again, the left hand keeps repeating the same thing, but the right hand is going to do a D scale on the way up now. So left hand's going to play a B while the right hand plays the D. They'll both play an E. Now the left hand plays the G while the right hand plays the F sharp. And then the left hand plays the F sharp while the right hand plays the G. Left hand goes back to the B while the right hand goes to the A. Then we have an E and a B. And the left hand continues. So again, we have. And then the left hand will keep playing. 
Okay, so that's the hardest part. Let's do it one more time. Now for the next part, the right hand is only going to be doing the first half of that, but it's going to do it in different octaves a few different times. So we have... And again. And again. One more time. Slow down. And now the right hand finishes on an E while the left hand plays that last D. Okay, let's do the whole thing one time. Okay, and finally, let's just add in some pedal to make it sound a little better. Remember, we're going to be using the sustain pedal, which is the rightmost pedal. I don't think I really have any set uh, amount to use, but be subtle about it. Don't use it too much, and just add enough to give it uh, a little sustain. Mm -hmm. 